so next we're going to need to define our blog schema um, for our MongoDB. And um, there's actually um, some good documentation about this here. And it actually uses a blog schema as the example. So if we just go back to our project, and we're going to make a new folder in our root called models. And models is just another name for schema. And within here, I'm going to make one called blog. .js and if I just put it to the side as you can see in our example we want to do const it's a variable here but we're going to use a constant mongoose equals require Do const schema capital S equals mongoose schema. Um, we're now going to declare the um, schema name, so it's going to be a const blog schema equals, and we can use the constructor to so new schema. And then within here, we're going to declare the um, properties that we want. So we're going to want title as well. So we're going to make an object. We're going to do type string with a capital S. And then we're going to do required true. And we're then going to do um, author string. Uh, we're also going to do body string and then we're going to do date we'll do another object we'll do type date and then default date dot no so that's going to set whatever time it is now when um, when the uh, blog post gets submitted, it's going to take the date and um, insert it there. Um, what else do we need to do? I think that's more or less all the fields that we need. I'm going to now export it by doing modules. Module.exports equals mongoose dot model um, but they're going to call it um, the name so as a string blog comma and then we're going to call it this variable and then save that um, let's make this larger okay so we now want to set up our user schema and to do that um, it's quite simple really we can just duplicate the blog.js file Rename it user with capital U. Um, I'm just going to re change this to user schema. And then I'm just going to remove everything from here apart from the date. I'm going to do a new property called username. We're going to say type string again, required true. But we're also going to want to put unique true because you don't want uh, multiple users with the same username then we want to do password type string required true and then email type string required true um, I suppose we should put unique on the email too because I think it's usually just one um, user account for one email. And then down here, of course, we need to change this to user and user schema. I'm going to save that. So now we've um, got our both, uh, both our schema files set up. We want to go back to our server.js file. And we actually want to um, set up some constants for them. Um, I will tidy up this file in a bit because... It's a bit 
uh, messed up, but just for now, I'm going to say schemas. And I'm going to do const required equals blog with a capital B. Oops, sorry. Const blog equals required. And then we're going to do dot for the root forward slash models forward slash blog require. Sorry, it's a Monday, so I'm a bit slow. And we need to change the belt bottom one to user. So that's great. We've now got our um, schema set up. 